Hello, hello, my little freaks. You don't remember me, but I'm Tafti. I've come to you from time. Time is eternal. From eternity you can go wherever you like, whenever you like. Three thousand years ago, I was a priestess of a temple Izuda. Who I am now, I will tell you later. The important thing is that I know who you are. And I'll tell you about that in due course, for you already know who you are, right? You have been brought into the world deprived of self-instruction manual. Of course, they taught you to wash your hands, change your nappies, but you don't know much more than that, either about yourself or the world. For example, you think you have your own opinion. In fact, that opinion was implanted in you. You believe that you're in control of your actions, where it is much more important to control your thoughts. Can you? No. You're just little brainless idiots. It makes me want to spank you. I know you're lonely, unhappy, and think nobody loves you. But I love you. And I'll tell you. I'll tell you how the world works and what is really happening. I'll tell you why you're here and what to do with your life. Because you don't know what to do with your life, do you? You see? Get comfortable on your putties and listen. Let's start with the fact that reality is not quite as you imagine it to be. Reality is multi-layered, like an onion. You're familiar with only two layers, the physical reality in which you live and dream space in which you're dreaming. The dream space is not a figment of your imagination. It is real and is something like a film archive in which everything is stored that ever was, will be, or could be. When you dream, you are watching one of the films from the archive. In this case, your dream is real and an illusion at the same time. The film you are watching is virtual, while the film roll itself is material. Reality is what has never been and never will be, and only is here and now. Reality exists only in single moment, like a frame of a film roll, which moves from the past into the future. Your life, or rather your essence, your soul, also moves from one incarnation to another. There was a time when you were all fish, dinosaurs, and all kinds of crawling reptiles. Don't kid yourself that you've moved on much since then. There's still a long way to crawl before you can reach such perfection as I, for example. You don't remember your previous incarnations because every incarnation is a separate life of your soul, a separate dream, if you like. The soul is not dependent on the presence of the body. This is just one of the forms in which it can exist. The body is just kind of a bio-suit. You may ask, what is the point of all these transformations? Such are the fundamental qualities of reality and life, movement and transformation. A frame moves along the film roll. A caterpillar transforms into a butterfly. The butterfly lays its lavra. Lavra transforms into caterpillar. And those in turn become butterflies. At your current stage of evolution, you are caterpillars, small and unpleasant. That's just how you are. I need to tinker you. So listen. Sleeping and waking life are roughly the same thing. In the early years, 
You did not distinguish your dreams from your reality. You don't remember it, but back then, you did not think there was a boundary or any difference between those worlds. Then the grown-ups explained to you that the world of dreams is just a product of your imagination, that it isn't real. In fact, you were fed a false belief. That world is just as real as this. It exists in another space. When you wake up and fall asleep, you move between these spaces. Does that surprise you? Does this scare you? You got used to the idea, but still, dreaming and waking life that follows the dream are like life and death. As life is a dream, death is the waking experience. Okay, my dears, let's not run before we can walk. One step at a time. There are three similarities and one difference between dreaming and waking life. I'll come to difference a little later. The similarities are this. First, both in waking and in dreaming, you are asleep. And because of this, you are helpless in both. Both realities exist independently of your will. I will teach you how to wake up, both in dreaming and in waking life. Second, in both spaces, reality moves like a frame in a film roll. Yet you do not understand that because you only know how to see what is right under your foot. You lost the ability to look ahead when you started to believe the grown-ups that dream world is not real. Third, in both worlds, the moving frame can be controlled. The reason you are not in control because your attention is stuck in the current frame. You'll find what this means soon. Though finding out doesn't necessarily mean understanding it. When you do understand it, however, you will be able to shift reality.